Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about another disease, silicosis. This is a type of pneumoconiosis. So, uh, I have discussed already coal workers pneumoconiosis and asbestosis in the previous videos. Now we will discuss about silicosis. So, silicosis is a lung disease which is caused by inhalation of silicon dioxide. So, it uh, the silicosis can be chronic or it can be acute. So, the chronic form is the most common form that is after decades and decades of exposure in any occupation such as sand blasting or mine workers it presents as a fibrosing pneumoconiosis this is a this is a uh, chronic form of silicosis another is acute silicosis heavy exposure to uh, silicon can lead to a condition acute silicosis now this condition is very less common so if anybody talks about silicosis that is mostly the chronic form now going to uh, various uh, there are various occupations in which the person is exposed to silicon like sand blasting miners uh, silicon is a part of earth's crust so any occupation related to that will cause exposure to silicon so pencil industry slate industry so these are uh, having higher risk of silicosis now forms of silica are two forms there is a crystalline form and there is a amorphous form now crystalline form is the most fibrogenic form not the amorphous form the crystalline form uh, includes quartz cristobalite and tridamide now out of this also quartz is the one which is implicated in uh, your silicosis this is the most common implicated now there is one peculiar thing about quartz so quartz when it is mixed with other minerals it has a reduced fibrogenic effect that means if you see in uh, in miners in sand blasting industry so what will happen other minerals are also present so that uh, quartz has less fibrogenic activity rather than uh, some occupations in which the person is exposed only to quartz so if the miners are there they will have more quartz in their lung than other quartz exposed uh, workers but they will, uh, will have a mild disease because other minerals somehow protect the body against quartz now going to pathogenesis so the pathogenesis of all the pneumoconiosis is almost similar only so it is due to ac uh, activation of the macrophages so the particles of the silica they interact with the macrophages now the this causes activation of the macrophages and release of mediators such as your interleukin 1 tnf fibronectin oxygen derived free radicals and certain fibrogenic cytokines which will lead to fibrosis later on okay so this is the first mechanism also uh, silicon uh, silicosis is associated with tuberculosis okay silicosis increased su increases the sus uh, susceptibility to tuberculosis because silicosis also lead to depression of cell mediated immunity and also inhibits the ability of pulmonary macrophages to kill bycobacteria so these two reasons okay because cell mediated immunity is low secondly your macrophages they are not much capable to kill phagocytos mycobacteria because of these two reasons silicosis is also associated with increased uh, risk of tuberculosis now going to the morphology so how does grossly lung look like okay first is your gross whenever we do discuss the morphology we discuss in two parts first is the gross then is the microscopy the grossly if you see first thing they will be um, in earlier stages they will be very tiny barely palpable uh, small small nodules present okay they will present mostly in the upper zones of the lung so uh, this is the uh, in the early stages but with the time the disease progresses what will happen these nodules will coalesce they will join okay they will join to form hard collagenous scars and if the disease progresses then these hard collagenous scars they will again 
expand they will again coalesce and they will lead to progressive massive fibrosis okay so starting from very tiny nodules then going to hard collagenous scars and then progressive massive fibrosis this is the morphology which you see in uh, silicosis okay so here you can see this is the lung and here you can see this part you have a collagenous scar which is present now going to what will happen what can happen the these nodules in the center they can also undergo softening or cavitation so this can also occur later on in the nodules if you see on the uh, radiographically so you will see a eggshell calcification here so eggshell calcification is the, the uh, outside of the like in the egg outside is calcified and inside it is not calcified okay so this is eggshell uh, calcification which is seen in silicosis you will have calcium which will surround a zone of non calcification now going to the histology that is the microscopy okay microscopy you will see what what is nodules you will see nodules of concentric layers of hyaluronized collagen surrounded by dense a capsule of more condensed collagen okay so the outside uh, thing will be more dense and inside you will have hyaluronized collagen so it will be uh, more dense collagen outside and less dense collagen inside this is a scar okay this is a collagenous scar and if you see uh, in these nodules on polarized microscopy in between the clefts which the clefts are there na so these are the clefts which are formed forming in the clefts you will see bifringent silica particles also but this you will see not on light microscopy but on the polarized microscopy uh here in the picture you can see very beautiful uh silicotic nodule is present this is a silicotic nodule you can see it is highly eosinophilic and uh, the collagen is present over here here also this area you can see this is the Co uh, collagen nodule or the silicotic nodule okay this will be this just contains collagen and if you will see this on the uh, high mi uh, on the polarizing microscopy you will also see silica crystals in it on the chest uh, x-ray we will just discuss briefly it will show fine nodularity and second was the eggshell calcification which can be seen Okay, so fine nodularity in the upper zones of the lung. So mostly the upper zones of the lung are involved. So fine nodularity in the upper zones of the lung are present. Regular monitoring of the persons who are working in mining industry or sand blasting indus industry is done through chest X-ray. So regular monitoring should be done of these persons. Now, what are the uh, clinical presentation of these persons? Mostly they do not develop any shortness of breath. until late in the course mostly when disease progresses till the stage of progressive massive fibrosis till that the person will not present anything and also after is at this stage if the uh, this uh, patient is no longer exposed also then also disease will be progressive so uh, regular monitoring of the workers uh, should be done in these occupations now silicosis as we already discussed it has increased susceptibility to tuberculosis also and crystalline silica is also known to be carcinogenic so these are the clinically uh, implications of silicosis this was all about silicosis you can watch my other videos on asbestosis and coal workers pneumoconiosis okay uh, you can ask any queries in the comment box thanks for watching this video thank you